Hey guys, so today I am sharing with you guys um, sort of a mini haul and also a few things that I got at the drugstore. Um, so most of the things that I got in my Ulta haul, this is from Ulta, um, are like sort of drugstore-y but it's still from Ulta so it doesn't really count. Just say home. Anyway, okay. So let's get started. Okay, so the first things I'm going to go through because I'm in dire need of them is, and I'm that sounded really sarcastic. I did not mean to be sarcastic at all. Um, I really, really needed like makeup wipes and makeup remover pads. Um, I have makeup remover that I really like, but I'm constantly like reaching for tissues and stuff and it's just not cutting it. So let's just start with this first actually. I got the cotton um, pads. The, they're the 80 premium uh, rounds and they're the Ulta brand. Um, first of all, these things cost an arm and a leg at CVS. They cost like $4. And um, it might be more like in it. It might be like, actually no, I still think it was 80 but either way, it was like $4, and I was not expecting that. And on Ulta's website, I think they're like $2.99 or something like that. Something like not that expensive. I got them so that I can put my makeup remover, which just happens to be in the drawer in front of me. Um, you know, this makeup remover, I have a, an old Sephora makeup remover that's just like this. I think I have some samples of like different ones. Um, I got them so I can use my makeup remover on these pads. Um, the next thing that I got were actual makeup wipes and also, like, little remover pads. So, this is, um, the wipes I got. They had, um, something going where it was, if you spent a certain amount of money with Olay, you got a free, um, little thing of makeup wipes. And I'll show you them in a second. And so, I bought this, which was buy one, get one half off. So, I got this and then I got this. And then I got this for free, but I'll go through that in a second. So these are the oil-free gentle makeup remover towelettes. Um, I like I I like to reach for towelettes. That's just like what I reach for first. Um, I do want to use my makeup remover, so I will definitely use my rounds for those. But um, I just wanted to pick up another baggie of these. Um, I am not picky at all. I know that's bad. Like, I like the Neutrogena ones. I like the Just CVS brand. But these are what I picked up this time, so I'm not picky with my makeup remover. Um, I've never tried these before. Never. But I actually, before I started this, I, um, opened up my Ulta haul and or like my box from Ulta and I was just like swiping things on my hand just to like try and I'll get there in a second I'll swipe them again but I wanted to take it off because I was going on camera and so I used this I used these to take it off and let me tell you they worked so well like it's just this little tiny pad hold on there's like a bunch in here, but it's just this little tiny pad and it literally swiped off all of the the stuff that was on my hand, which is just awesome. That's really awesome. And then I got, this was the free item and it's the AE pads of the oil-free gentle eye makeup remover pads, but it's in this container. Um, it's the little rounds. Um, I obviously didn't open this one yet because I just opened this one. Um, the next thing was, um, to make my shipping, like, be free, I had to add something else to my cart, and so I just went for one of these little, um, a little bit Bad Girl Lash from, ooh, the Bad Girl Lash Mascara from Benefit. Um, I've never tried this stuff, but I definitely want to, so I just bought up a little travel size of it to try out a little bit. Um, I'm probably not going to open it for a while just because I have so many other mascaras that I'm using right now and I have so many waiting for me so I definitely don't need mascara anymore. But who knows when it's like one of those things where you have to add up to a certain amount to get free shipping. Um, like it's worth it just to pick up like a little travel size of something. So I chose the, the mascara. 
Um, the next thing that I got, which was pretty much my whole reason for why I was doing this order, was... Let me see if I can open it again. I caught it before. Ah, I got it. Okay. I'm sure you guys have seen everyone on YouTube, like, talking about this, but the Park Avenue Princess, woo, it's really shiny on the front. This is what it looks like. I'm trying not to get the reflection. Um, this is the Park Avenue Princess by Tarte, um, and it comes with, and I just dropped the plastic. It comes with the Park Avenue Bronzer, um, Posh and champagne golds um hold on sorry this is this is posh and this is the champagne gold color that's a highlight so this is blush highlight and bronzer um i was holding off because originally this was 34 dollars or something and then it got marked down to 24 and i was like oh you know 24 i can do and then before i knew it Sephora was sold out. So I found it luckily on Ulta still and I really wanted to try it out. I don't I don't have that many combos like blush bronzer combo thingies and I don't have a lot of bronzers. So I wanted to try that out while I still could and I thought for that price was awesome. And I should say this that um if you were an Ulta whatever they're benefits program is I don't really remember what it is um you received an email from them about a week ago or two and I think it was like a week ago and it gave you a code to get 20% off your entire order and that's pretty much the only reason why I like went for it and actually bought all this stuff is because I knew that I could get all this stuff for a lower amount of money um so that's why I splurged and got this I know I don't need it but I really wanted to try it so and I will um, put in like a picture with swatches on my hand. So the next four things kind of go together. Um, NYX was having buy one get one 50% off and so I had to pick up some of the um, soft lip creams and also I got a butter gloss and an extreme lip cream so um I got the colors Antwerp um oops, I'm a mess today Antwerp Ibiza um the butter gloss in peaches and cream and also this one is pinky nude the pinky nude in the extreme lip cream and don't worry I already realized that like these are the same <laughs> but that's okay I mean I'll definitely get use out of both of them I think they're a little different in like consistency and texture um like if I show you like the extreme lip cream like they're not joking when they say it's extreme like let me show you. So, one swipe. That's it. Like, that's crazy. Then, this is the next one. And I feel like even though this is like sort of not good lighting, I feel like it's still doing pretty good justice of these colors. So, as you can see, this on top, well, it's a little pinker actually. This on top is the Ibiza, and this underneath is the the Pinky Nude. I think that's what it's called. What is it? Yeah, Pinky Nude. The Pinky Nude color. And you can sort of see, I don't know if you can really see, um, but this is definitely like a more... I want to say this is more like matte-ish, like it, it's drying more matte. This one, it's taking a lot longer to dry. Um, I know they're both matte, but I think they're both matte. Mm. They're not really, I don't know. Like the extreme glosses are sort of like a mix between a matte and a gloss. Like they're 
a mix between a lipstick and a gloss so it's like a little different texture and consistency so I'm definitely excited to try both of them and then this is in Antwerp and I'll put this in the bottom which these two colors are actually very similar which I didn't realize because if you look at them in the bottle they don't look that similar like they're both pink but they don't look that similar but I'm still excited to try both of them. I think that they'll be really good. And then this is in the Butter Gloss in Peaches and Cream. Let me put this put it in the middle. And then this is the Peaches and Cream. You can obviously tell which one's which um, between that. And I just thought that these colors were going to be really like nice for spring and sort of moving forward into the gear and into the summer um i don't i have like all these mauve colors for during the um fall that i picked up and i'm just trying to expand my collection and add more pinks and stuff like that and i still feel like i can wear these colors now as well because um some of them are a little darker even though they're pink and valentine's day is coming so like pink yay um the Next thing that I want to do is um, I not only did this Ulta haul, but I also went to the drugstore a little. And I have um, another haul that's coming, and I don't want to go too far into it because I'm, I kind of want to, I don't want it to be a surprise, like that's kind of lame to say. But like, I don't want to like just say it out loud. Like it's a couple different sites that I just want to talk about and I bought things off of them. So I'm going to wait for that until I get all of those products together and then I will um, put that in one video. Um, this one just seems a little bit separated from that one so I will get there in a minute. So these are the two things I picked up when I was at CVS. Um, I didn't get too much because I did do this Ulta haul and I didn't want to um, spend too much this month um so these are the two cover girl they are the i should know what brand these are they're I, they're like the new ones that they have and i can't even think of the name but i'll find it and like put it somewhere but um these are the the ones that they have like when you walk in the store at CVS, um, they're from CoverGirl, and I just wanted to get two different colors, like I really don't have, especially since, you know, spring is coming up, and I just wanted to make sure that I'm prepared, and these colors were just so pretty and so vibrant that I really wanted to pick them up. So the first one I got is in the pink shades. How it's broken up is pinks, reds, and purples I want to say or something like that along those lines it might be nudes I don't know or I don't know what the broken down is but I know there's like pinks and reds and then maybe like either nudes or purple colors I don't even know what it is but anyway this is in the pink and you go by the the lid which I actually really like these like just the lid colors like they're so pretty and bright um but this is in the pink shades. This is in 405 Temp Temptress Rose. And I just thought this was such a pretty, like, rose color. Um, it's very pink. It's bright. It sort of goes along the lines of the um, other three NYX shades that I just picked up. And this is what it looks like. It's sort of, um, it, it's probably going to look beautiful under the um, Peaches and Cream NYX gloss. But this is what it looks like. You can see those are very similar. Um, and it's just like a, such a pretty pink. Um, I believe they're matte. Um, and I can kind of tell by how it's drying right now. But I will have to look that up for you guys. I should have probably came prepared, but whatever. Um, the next color is in the red collection, and this is in 280 um, Decadent Peach, and I believe both of these are new colors from them. Um, as I said, they were like right when you walk in the drugstore, like the new CoverGirl items. Um, 
And this is just this really, really bright, pretty, corally color. I don't have that many um, colors like this, and I just thought that this would be so pretty, um, like, in the spring, in the summer. And this is what that one looks like. It's just this really pretty, peachy color. I just, I saw it, and I was like, you know, I just love it. I just love it. It's just so pretty. And it's bright. Um, so both of these colors I'm really excited to try out um, coming up soon. I haven't really put them on my lips or anything. Um, but this is what they look like. The two cover girl. And this would not be a lip haul. Well, it's not really a lip haul. But this would not be lip buying if I did not pick up lip liners. Um, so I have heard people raving about the Jordana lip liners. Um, I've never tried them and I did not even know my Walgreens carried them. Like I live in a city so I mean not New York City but I live close to New York City and my Walgreens is super tiny so I didn't even know that they had like a Jordana section and then I went the other day and they did. So I had to pick up these, um, they're like $2 each. I just had to pick them up because I've heard so many people talk about them. Okay, so I got three and um, I'm sort of lacking on lip liners so I was trying to get like a bunch of different colors. Um, so the first one I got is the Pink Love. And I will swatch that. Where am I going to go? Let's go right there. So it's this one right here. It's just a really pretty pink color. It's going to look beautiful under any one of these um, lip colors. The next one I got is lighter. It's called Rose Crush. And it's just like a sort of nudey pinky nude color and so this is that one it's right there it's right there and it sort of would go probably really well with this um coral color right here it sort of has that like pinky corally look to it so I'm excited because I don't have a lip liner like this. I know I have a few like this one, but I didn't realize that until I got home and I was just swatching and I was like, oh my god, I have like three that are the same. But it's okay because for $2, I'm really not upset about it. This one is different. This is called Rock and Rose. This is like a deep mauve color. Um, it's more on the brown tone and it like does not match any of the colors that I got today but I do have it sort of has like a purpley mauvey undertone to it um but it is still like a rosy color um but I know that I have um like lipsticks that will look really great with this underneath so I really wanted to get three different colors that are sort of really different but that I can use for a bunch of different looks um and I think I succeeded in that. So this is the end of my haul. Um, as I said, the Ulta was 20% off of everything. Um, I'm not sure how much, how long that is till. I believe it's only till the end of January, so like the 31st. Thank you guys for watching. I know it was a little bit long and I swatched a lot of stuff, but um, I just wanted to get some new stuff and definitely I think I went a little overboard with the lippies like look at all of this <laughs> but that's okay because summer is coming up spring is coming up hopefully spring is coming up doesn't feel like it with snow but it's okay we'll get through it and then it'll be spring and then it'll be warm and then I can go to the beach that's all I want to go to the beach. Anyway, thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys soon in my next video. Have a good one. Bye.